Welcome to mini tutorials for InDesign. Uh, in this particular session, we cover three topics. We're going to talk a little bit about what this course is and what it is not. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about InDesign tools, panels, and options, and then we're going to go through the process of making a new document using Adobe InDesign. Uh, this is a short course for beginners. Um, I'm not going to show you absolutely everything that the program can do, but I'm going to focus on things which are very basic, uh, which will help you get up and running as quickly as possible. Um, we're going to focus a little bit on kind of the logic of the program and how it works uh, so that you have a general idea of the capabilities of the program, uh, the tools that are in there, and how to access them. Uh, Let's go ahead and open up InDesign. Now the InDesign interface has quite a few options, so let me kind of walk you through the major parts of the interface so you can see things uh, as they're going to work. The top bar right here, this is are what we're going to call tabs. So anytime we're referring to tabs, we're referring to uh, options that are up here on this very top bar. Uh, over here on the left, we have the main toolbar. And you may notice that as I click on tools in the toolbar, uh, that this little thing right here is changing. Uh, it's actually linked to the toolbar. Um, these are the options for those particular tools. So, so far we have tabs, we have the toolbar, and we have the options. Like most Adobe tools, uh, under the window tab we have a series of panels. Uh, and as you see, wherever there's these little black arrows, that means that's a category, and there are a lot of panels under that. So, for example, under the color panel, Right here we have color, gradient, and swatches. Uh, the panels are listed alphabetically, and if you ever can't find a panel, always look under window. Let me just open one of these panels so that you can kind of see how this works. So I'm going to go to color, swatches, open this panel right here. And let me just kind of show you a little bit about how the panel works. You can change the height and the width of the panel, so if you need to adjust how that works, you can do that. If you double click on the title of the panel, it will minimize it or move it into the docking format, which is totally minimized. So I'm double clicking to get those changes. Now, one thing that's actually fairly important is this little guy right here. This is called the Advanced Options Flyout, and that is where all of the really nifty stuff hides. So if I click on this, uh, these are the Advanced Options, and you can see things like, for example, loading swatches from other documents, which is something that InDesign does really, really well. Um, on most Adobe tools, there'll be a new button. It's a double square icon, and that's located right there. So let me close that, and let's go through the process of making a new document. To make a new document in InDesign, uh, you can do it from the welcome screen, or you can do File, New, document. Uh, there are also two other types of files that InDesign can create. There's a book file and a library file, uh, but right now we're just going to work with the document. When I click on document, I'm going to get a little dialog. Uh, you don't want to just blast past this guy. This one's actually fairly important. This is where you're going to set up the parameters of your layout. So I'm going to come here and I'm going to make it a five-page layout. I'm going to turn facing pages off for right now. Um, my page size is right here, so I can do A5, A4, um, letter legal, or a digital size if I need that. Or I can set a custom page size if that's more what I need. I'm going to take the orientation to landscape, and I'm going to set up some guidelines. These columns are, uh, are, are guidelines. They're not going to show in the final document. Um, the margins are down here at the bottom. You can adjust those as you need to. This little linking icon makes all of the margins change at once. So if I increase that, all four margins will change at once. Um, or I can unlink it. I'm clicking on that, and then that will let me change just one of the margins at a time and leave the other margins as they were originally. There is an option here called More Options. And when I click on that, it opens up two more categories that can be set here in the beginning dialog. Um, bleed and slug. Uh, as you probably know, bleed is a type of print where the ink goes all the way to the edge of the paper. It's actually created by printing on a larger sheet of paper and cutting the edges away. Uh, the things that are cut away are called the slug, and that can include things like 
registration marks, printer's instructions, um, document identification. That's what the slug is. And those settings are right here. So again, that's under the More Options tab. If you open that up, you can get that. Now I'm going to click OK. We have a layout. And I'm going to zoom out. I'm going to use a, a Control minus or Command minus on a Mac and zoom out. And you can see the entire layout. So we have a five page layout. It has three, co three columns of guidelines which have been set up automatically. Um, one other little thing that you may want to change uh, as you start working with InDesign are the units. So let me show you how to get into the units. Um, you want to go into the preferences. Uh, on a Mac it's under InDesign preferences. On a PC it will be under edit preferences. Uh, but the preference that you're looking for is units. Okay. So I'm going to come down here to Units and Increments. I'm going to open up that dialog. And that's going to let you make some changes to the units that are used in the interface. So I can take this to inches, uh, points or pixels. Um, and we'll say OK on that. In the next tutorial, we're going to cover placing and fitting images, selecting colors, and basic text boxes.